this is Kirk. And this is Bird. It's the Kirk and Bird Show. And we have special guests with us again today. We got the professor, professor. Brian Westhoff. The professor who is actually, I want to get his autograph. He's uh, actually in the paper uh, and online for all his great skills as the professor. So thank you for joining us, big time professor. Rusty, my phone right. was blowing up Friday night after that article. Oh, I yeah. Still in the parking lot at Colgan. People are hitting me up. <laughs> trying to get the Great play article out. on Inside great article. Check it out. Check it out. The professor. They should have referenced that you there as the professor. And then we got the Godfather Sports, Jay Golson. Jay knows a lot of everything. Jay Golson. And then sometimes he doesn't know anything. But no, thank you guys. That's the beauty of Jay Golson because <laughs> yeah. he actually knows the stuff. <laughs> but uh, it's just funny, you know, to, to pick on him. Hey, and then, of course, my partner, Kirk Hilliard, Phoebus High School uh, mm-hmm. alum, and they had a big game, big win. We were there yesterday as they beat Oscar Smith. But thanks for joining us, guys. We're going to cover um, Division Six, especially Region uh, B. And then we'll talk about some of the rest of the state with Division Six, And then we'll also give love to um, Brentsville and, and, and Class 3, where – where Brentsville um, only has one loss, but undefeated, undefeated Kettle Run. And then on the other side is Phoebus that just looked tremendous yesterday. So start us out, Kirk. Tell us which way you want us to go. Oh, well, Jay, I'm not going to fall for the band on the tailpipe. All right. So <laughs> what we're going to do, I had to say that. Um, yeah. We ask everybody just to subscribe to us. Um, you're not going to get anybody that really digs into this like we do, especially Prince William. You know, Jay and Brian and Rusty, you all live there, uh, go to the game. So we ask that you do that. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, there were big games all over the state, and Rusty and I were at Phoebus Smith. We'll talk a little bit about that. But we want to get to the games in Prince William County and our two Loudoun schools, uh, Freedom South Riding and um, – John Chan, but uh, the big one I'm gonna get you guys take all three of you is uh, Battlefield Patriot, and to me that was a little bit of an upset. Now Jay, you texted me and said the Battlefield shut down their offense. That's a great offense to shut down. Uh, Jay, you go first, and then we'll get the professor. Well, this is what happened, and I predicted this also on Friday morning. Battlefield changed their defense to stop the quarterback draw from Sam Fernandez. Mm-hmm. So they put Caleb Woodson close to the line of scrimmage. Wherever Sam went, either Caleb was there or Brody Carroll was there. And I think in the first half, I think maybe Sam had probably maybe 20 yards rushing in the first half. Mm-hmm. Now, the questionable call was Patriot was down on the, I think, the 9 or 10-yard line almost to, to, you know, to almost score. Now, fourth down... So the field goal, they went for it. Mr. F- so Mr. Fourth down, Battlefield drives all the way down before halftime, gets the, gets a field goal. So now it says now it's 10-7 Battlefield instead of 10-7 Patriots at half. And that was a big, a huge turnaround right there on, on going for it on fourth down and not going for the field goal. Now as for the line, uh, Battlefield's line, uh Ty Gordon, he just ran sacked the Patriot line. I mean, they couldn't stop Ty Gordon. And David Smoot, same thing. So that de- pe- battlefield line was ready for Patriot. They won. They won the trenches. Bottom line, the Patriots should have threw, threw more touch, threw more passes. They didn't do that. Maybe they're holding back to you know round two in a couple of weeks. I don't know, but I think Patriot ran the ball too much, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And as for the crowd, I got their six fifteen packed. Not a seat, man. Mm-hmm. I, I barely got a seat. Sell out. Sell out. Sold out. There are people on the track. Cool. They're on the track. All right. And battle, but one more thing. The hamburgers at Battlefield are the best. Hamburgers? They got cheeseburgers? Ham, hamburgers. I mean, they, they were second to none. All right. Well, I, I'll tell you, I, they, 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 I, to me, uh, Colgan has the best pretzels. No matter where you go, I mean, I, Kogan pretzels are better than the peanuts. I mean, not the, the, the Washington National Spread Nets. Uh, they're better than uh, any place I've been. So a shout out to Kogan and their pretzel staff. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the real, the real question here is they're going to play each other again, but we don't want to sleep on Unity Reed as well as I think it's Colonial Forge, uh, uh, Forest Parks playing champ. So was this maybe a good loss for Patriot? 
You know? No, because I think when you lose like they did, you kind of lose confidence. I mean, again, they're averaging 50 points a game. Battlefield shut them down for zero touchdowns. So I think that really woke up Patriot. And like last year when they lost to Battlefield, they lost to Unity Reed the next week in the playoffs. So uh-huh. I really think that yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I don't know if I classified as them losing confidence. It was probably a little bit of a eye opener, a kick in the butt, saying, "Hey, we need to get going here." Um, I, I I guarantee Gabe and Sam and everybody else and Cole are still confident, but it's probably like, "All right, we need to pick up our pace here." So well, that line, Brian, I'm telling you, Battlefield's line literally just uh, handled Patriots line. Now, Gabe Bigby, you're right; he's confident. Sam Fernandez, he's confident. You know, Quentin Harrison, he's confident. But that line, I don't know. When you get your, when you get your I'm not going to say your butt kicked, but when you get manhandled the whole game, man, it's an eye opener. I'm not saying you, so either they have doubt or they have to work hard and figure out how to fix this problem. But that line really handled Patriot on both sides of the ball. The whole well, game. My, my question to the whole panel, I'm, I'm sorry, Rusty, is. No. Do we see any variation from Patriot in 12 days traveling down the road to Dominion Valley in Battlefield? I say that's going to happen. And we want to give a little love to Colonial Forge, Unity Reed. And we had a great game with John Champ uh, in Force, Force Park. But before we do that, anybody see that not holding? Anybody see that Patriot not going to Battlefield? Brian. No, I see Patriot playing Battlefield again. I mean, it, it, I, I just think they're the two best teams outside of Freedom. Um, mm-hmm. it, it'll it'll be a pretty good upset if either of those two lose. No, I'm and, saying, and you, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Rusty. Okay, so you know me. I, I, I'm, it's, it's, it, people say there's no such thing as a bad loss, but sometimes I, I don't have I don't mind if it's able to actually help me as a coach um, to identify some weaknesses that we may not have. Uh, notice before. Um, it may help me um, to to get my kids to refocus. It may help us to, to do some things. And I think, uh, I think actually last year, uh, FEMA's benefited from it after their loss to Austin Smith, and then they went on to, to win five in a row. And, you know, I know Patriot didn't do that last year, but I, I just feel like Patriot has a lot. I, I think they can do well. I think they will win the first round match uh, first first round game, but I think that um, if they meet Battlefield again, and, and their offense will not do that. I don't think their offense will do that, and 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 Battlefield better be ready. Well, again, Rusty, this is three games in a row, three in a row that pa- Battlefield's beating Patriots. They man, I'm telling you, they they have their number, and I would you know, yeah, you're, you're not getting by. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't but, want to be that say, it, It's not like these have been blowouts. I mean, these are really tight, tight games. Yeah. You know, they could have went either way. So. Just ask Sherman, ask Sherman Rivers about that. That didn't work out too good. I mean, you don't want to come in and have them beat the team that much. So um, I will say this. The best game in the first round in that six is Champ and uh, Forest Park. That's going to be a good one. Patrick Bryan, they're, they're playing. The, somebody's going to go home and high school careers are over. Yeah. Patrick Bryan could put it, up. It, it's funny. I posted something. Forest Park is on a complete roll. I mean, ever since the, the freedom loss that they it's had. It's tough and physical. You know, yeah. they, they had that tough schedule at the beginning, and, and then they've just been on a roll and, and really got it going. Um, for them to get the fifth seed, um, it, it's almost like they draw the, drew the Powerball numbers. That There was like six games that had to go their way for them to jump from seven to five. And it happened. It was clearly a forge had to lose. Mountain View had to beat Riverbend and Woodward wow. to win. There's six different uh, scenarios, and all, all of them happened. So, but yeah, that's going to be a great game. Okay. Well, the key yeah, also I is agree. they're so big. You know, Forest Park. They have, you know, of course they have, um, you know, Blados, you know, Wright, Heffron, the line. So if they can slow the game down against um, John Champ. Um, they can win, and they and they can't play on the road. Forest Park. They have. They beat. What Tuscarora, not Tuscarora, some school in Leesburg they beat. Wood, they beat Woodgrove. Woodgrove. Yeah, they beat Woodgrove. on the road. So they can't play yeah. on the road. Uh, so that can go either way. I mean, the, the, yeah. the big thing, you know, Coach Robinette's got to make sure is that secondary for Forest Park is, is ready to stop that aerial attack. I mean, yeah. Patrick Ryan is, 
he's probably one of the most accurate quarterbacks in Northern Virginia. They throw what 40 plus times a game. They're, you know, so OC Nurse and everybody else, they they got to be ready in that secondary. And look for that yeah. to be yep. like 50, 50 times. I think that uh is probably the first round game I'm gonna go to, by the way. I want to see champ. Uh, I want to see Patrick. Oh, well, I saw Patrick Bryan, but I want to see him in the playoffs. Um, you know, our, our other team that's wrapped up the season is Brentsville. Uh, so Brentsville's heading into the playoffs. Um, how do we feel about Brentsville, Coach White, some of the players that we had on? I mean, I think they're relatively healthy, and we don't want to leave Brentsville out because you know, that's a fantastic region in six. But And they're also – I think they should go – to the state semifinals again, you know? Well, again, I mean, they they um, play James Monroe the first game. They're two and eight. And then the second game that they might play, team, if they win, of course, is like 500. And then the third game was also a team that's 500. Now, so, Jay, yeah. they're going to play uh, the winner of two, four, and six teams. And then the two, the two and three seeds are five and seven. Six and seven seeds are three and seven. The only team in that region to have a winning record is Brentsville. So Brentsville should come out of there and go down to Phoebus. Well, good luck with that, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, um, yeah. That, so let's do this. Let, 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 let's play a game like we played um, with, 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 with our uh, previous show we just recorded, yeah. our previous guest. Uh, so, yes. We're, we're talking about Brentsville, and it looks like they should uh, come out of that region. But you know, the the the, the, um, the skyline kids will will tell you that, um, and and Brentsville kids, they told us like that's their that's like their rival. And, and you know, I mean, Brentsville beat them thirty five to twenty, but in a game like that, sky skyline. And they are the number two seed. Like these, these records could be deceiving. And what I mean by that is, yeah, only it's only one team with a winning record. That's Brentsville. Skyline and Warren County are five and five. But to be honest, we don't know how good or bad those other districts are that those teams are playing in. Because if they, if if they're playing Cole Pepper and them, they're playing Eastern View and King George and all of like they're. They just might be really good teams. I mean, Skyline, if they beat Brentsville or just beat one other team, they're six and four. I I, I, I think Brentsville will come out of it. I don't think it will be a e as easy as, as we, you yeah. might assume. You know, and, and let me ask this. So let's let's go through a couple of these regions. And if you had to call an upset, we're we're probably all picking freedom, but is there anybody? Okay, let's let's go from some of these regions. If there was a, a somebody not on most people's radar, who do you think could come out of those regions? And so what I'm saying is, I, I believe that Brentsville will win, but I would not be surprised if a um, skyline um, comes out of that area, comes out of that region. Wouldn't be surprised. Is what about, what? so if you guys have any thoughts on three, um, and then I do want to hear what you think about 6B. Any surprises? For, for I three, think, I, I still see Brentsville coming through, and I think Coach White will have them prepared. I, and honestly, you know, I saw the Facebook chatter, uh, Brentsville fans, are you all watching that Phoebus? I, I know the the Brentsville players and the Brentsville coaching staff, they're they're looking at their own region first. I mean, they, they got to take yeah. care of business first, so. Mm -hmm. I don't see anybody. I, I don't see any surprises out, out of uh out of Okay. Three. Uh, that 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 region in three. We can talk about. Let's we can move to six. Why don't we do? In, let's keep it. I'll do a minute, Rusty, uh, because I'm younger than you, and uh, you do a minute on Phoebus. All right. So everybody in Prince William, here's your take on Phoebus. Okay. And I would say this: big, physical, athletic, aggressive, extremely talented. Uh, Jordan Bass, number five, is going to be one of the best high school players you've seen in 20 years. Six foot four. 213 pounds, 3% body fat, and he's running between a 4.4 and a 4.5. He's going to Pittsburgh, way underrated at three stars. Uh, great quarterback, great tailback, uh, really good line defensive end named uh, Trey Reddick rushes the uh, passer really well. Very good kicker, too. Uh, so I would tell you that, you know, that, that trip down to Phoebus, uh, and by the way, Phoebus has got a pretty tough region to get out of, but I would say that Brentsville, you know, they're they're going to come out and they're going to jump all over you. And they are big, physical, 
athletic and they got a chip on their shoulder this year. So, um, you know, obviously I'm pulling for Phoebus as my school, but at the same time, I'd love to see Brentsville go down there and play a good game. Rusty with two seconds remaining. Yeah. So what I would say is everything Kirk said, plus I would say, um, and, and not that Brentsville doesn't because Brentsville has excellent coaching, but FIBA's really impressed me with their game plan and how they executed and beat a great Oscar Smith team. So I would say um, two things I think would give them edges is, is that the kids and the coaches at FIBA's are on a mission. They are on a mission to prove how good they are. The next thing I would say about uh, FIBA's is having the that that home field advantage until they get to the state finals. That helped a we lot. were there yesterday, and that environment was electric. It reminded me of the days of me playing in that same stadium. And you know, it, it, we, there may have been we you'll hear we, we talked about this. There were probably over six thousand people live, but maybe seven thousand people online watching that game yesterday. Um, but I think that environment. With 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 uh, Phoebus, you know, being um, as physical as they are, I would I would think that that Phoebus would 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 handle. I think going to Kirk's point, um, their I think their toughest challenge would be Lake Taylor before they even get to Brentsville. You think Lafayette or Lake Taylor can can beat Phoebus? No, I don't think anybody can beat Phoebus, and that's not because I went to Phoebus. Rusty will tell you they were incredible. If they play. 60% of what they played yesterday. They almost played a perfect game. They have a good kicker. They're good return guys. Jordan Bass is a freak of nature. Let's move on to six. But before I do that, remember, he's a senior. Number 12 for Phoebus is Nolan Boosie James, number 12. He can spin it. And I would say he's right there with Patrick Bryan, but he's a better athlete. And Patrick Bryan's a great athlete, by the way. But Boozy is a great athlete. Don't be surprised if uh, UVA, Tech, WVU, East Carolina, somebody jumps up and gets him with a numbers game. Now, oh, six, six is a great, great um, class, the whole thing, because Oscar Smith is going to have a chip on their shoulder. But let's roll back. We've talked quite a bit about uh, the freedom region. So freedom is the favorite. I'll say this and turn it over to you guys, and then let's move to the others because the Northern, Northern Virginia is really good. Um, yeah. Especially the Fairfax, but watch out for Champ. All right. I like Champ over Forest Park. Um, and, you know, they're not that big. Um, but if Brian gets loose, they got some playmakers. Um, so, how do you guys? We'll start with Westoff, Brian Westoff. How do you guys feel about that region in six? And then let's roll over to the Centerville, Madison, and Fairfax. That region is the best. But, Brian, what do, what do you think about that? Yeah, so so the, the four first-round games, I, I, I really – the only possible upset from my mind I see is possibly Forest Park beating, um, beating Champ. Um, you know, but, but by heart, I'm, I'm rooting for Forest Park just because I coached a ton of those kids, and I, I got a lot of friends that are coaches there. But I really do think Champ is is, is going to be a little too much for them. But we'll see. I think it's going to be a tight game. I think the other three, um, the higher seeds, probably going to take care of business. Um, you know, Unity Reed, Patriot. I think Patriot will probably be a little too much for Unity Reed, although I'm curious to see how Amari and the defense does against them. I think yeah. that's what Freedom will probably have no problem problem in the first round so I, I think it's it's probably for my mind gonna hold chalk one through four is gonna advance and I see still freedom coming out of that region I think it's gonna be a freedom patriot um final I, I just think oh. it's for a team to beat back to back within three weeks so okay. well I think if there's an upset and region 6b is Colonial Forge over Battlefield Okay. I like, Colonial that, Forge, I like the way you're Forge. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Colonial oh, Forge. I know, I know what he's going to say. I know what he's going to say. Got a Hall of Fame coach. I coached with a Pop No, 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 no. no. Well, that too, no. But also, <laughs> that too. But also, they beat a Mountain View team who is better than Battlefield. Yeah, but, okay. but 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 they they've also had like that loss they had last week was shocking. I don't. They, they're like you didn't read last. Yeah, week. that's what I'm saying. It feels like they're I like know. this a little bit. Yeah, they, they, they're here now, but they'll be up here this Friday. I don't, I don't get it. They 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 can beat the you know beat a great undefeated team and then lose to Massaponics. 
All right. So Brian and Rusty, let's break it down. All right. Who's the Brian? You already said Forrest Park is the most likely in the first round. So I'll ask you, and then Rusty, why don't you get into upset in the first two games, and then if anybody's going to beat Freedom? So Westhoff, can anybody beat Freedom in this? And I know there's upset chances. Can anybody beat Freedom? I'm, I'm saying no. Nope, not. All no. right, Rusty. I, I I think I think um, I used to say the Battle Patriot could 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 definitely uh, be the one to upset. Um, um, freedom but I, I you know after after seeing because I was watching that game and shout out to Prince William Sports and Entertainment um <laughs> while I was at our game uh, you know Colgan right, man. Um, <laughs> against Potomac they do a great job of covering uh, high school football but as I watched that game and it was constantly texting Jay um man I, you know I don't think Patriot is gonna have those same problems scoring I think maybe they'll get to figure some things out I think Patriot like Brian I think Patriot can beat Battlefield but if Battlefield does play um uh freedom I don't know why we would call this an upset because they're 10 and 0 <laughs> Battlefield's defense is strong enough to, to maybe advance they're, they 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 I mean Benji. clearly hey Rusty clearly the, the one know. thing the one thing for me with freedom everybody talks about their offense and rightfully so I mean they're going to have a record breaking season their defense is probably oh, yeah. the best in the state and you never hear anything about them I mean they, they're absolutely dominant and one of the fastest defenses probably in the state by far and that physical line with TJ it, it's major physical. Yeah, yeah. And, so and we'll not, see, you know, what the weather is like, you know, in three weeks. You know, this free, is freedom is freedom able? Hold on now. If 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 the weather's bad, and I know freedom can run the ball with Overton, but if you got Caleb and he's shadowing Overton or or they do come up with some great scheme like they did last year, um, you just never know. You never know. But Rusty, two things. Last year, there was no T.J. Bush when they played right. Battlefield. And number two, Friday night, I hate to say this, because I like the Patriot, you know, kids, they were exposed. I mean, that film is being watched by Amari Campbell, Unity Reed, uh, Freedom, to figure out how to stop that offense. There is something they, okay. you know, Pitt has to counter that, because they don't have, you know, a spy on Fernandez unless they figure out a, a, a passing game. They were exposed. Well, well they were exposed by chance. But um on that too, uh, defense no defensive wise champ, offensive yeah, wise, defensive wise battlefield. battlefield, right, right. No. Okay, but, but 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 Patriots Patriots got to come up with game plans too, and somebody's got to try to figure they, they're they gonna gotta figure that out. They, they gotta figure out a passing hey, look, game or look, something. Look, yeah, I, I think the best but, part. Hey, they're, they're going all those Patriot house listings, uh, uh, Jay. They're all going to Alex <laughs> too now. They're not coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're, right, they're anti J now. <laughs> no, I'm saying they're you know they were exposed. Offense that's what, it shocked me to have them have zero scores. I mean, it, it blew my mind. They were like you know first and ten, second and nine, third and eleven. I'm like wow, what's you know there was no long runs, right? Uh, yeah, no quarterback yeah. draws. And I figured that. If, 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 right, if, if, go ahead. I'm sorry, Kurt. Go sorry. Ahead. If you buy a house from Jay, we'll get you a Weber barbecue grill. If you buy a house from Alex Koo, sprinkler system. All right. So, all right. So we, we're giving Coach Fennerty and Coach Hatfield something to say to their kids. We're not giving you a chance to be Freedom Woodbridge. So when I say we're not giving you a chance, I'm just saying that's what we're all predicting. And you need motivation. But whoever wins that region is most likely um, Freedom. I'm gonna take it. Well, it won't be easy. It won't. It won't be easy. Uh, I'm saying, yeah. Smith, Western Branch, Manchester, Thomasdale. They're gonna face the biggest and most athletic team they faced in the state semifinals. So yeah. So why don't we do that? Let's switch into because Prince William County is so um, class six heavy. Let's let's switch to Hampton Roads, Osborne or um, Osborne. Oscar Smith is the number one seed, and then uh, Dale. I believe held the number two. It's looking like a uh, Western Branch, Manchester. I like Smith to come out of there because of the Phoebus loss. Um, you looked at those brackets, uh, Brian. 
Have you look at that? What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I, I got Smith coming out of that as well. Um, I, it's funny because Thomas Dale had a really tough loss as well to Dinwiddie um, last week as well. So they, they're, they're going to be uh, kind of in the same uh, position as Smith and, and hopefully can rebound. But I, I see Oscar Smith coming through that region. Here's Which, my take. And, and if it's freedom in battlefield and OJ is – been talking about this for weeks, but they'll be traveling up up Prince William County way if it ends up being Battlefield or uh, or Freedom in the finals. See, I think losing to Phoebus yesterday, 56 to nothing. When you're a 16, 17-year-old kid, I mean, that's hard to overcome that loss to your, your cross-town rival. And then the playoffs the next week, and you haven't scored a touchdown in two games? No, they're going to lose in the second round, Smith. Western Branch coming out of that region. Right. Last year, Phoebus lost 42 I know. They, they got crushed. And, and then they went on and won the state championship. They're playing, yeah. they're playing a big, you know, the, the state champions. That's different. Yeah, come on. This is Phoebus. No disrespect, you know, Kirk. But, I mean, you go, you're a D6 school. You're a cross-town rival. You're a state champion. And you have a score a touchdown in two games. Well, they're, 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 they're walking in the state. They're walking in the playoffs. You know, um, it basically, that's what a touchdown in two games. And, and something nobody's talked about, the best player on the field last year was Kevon King. I mean, the kid was a stallion. He, he's at Norfolk State now. And, you know, you had Ethan Kaiser, who's at Kansas, that's an up-and-coming program, and then uh, the big lineman for ODU. And then, man, Smith has got some underclassmen. They've got a cornerback who's probably a five-star. So, but, yeah, uh, this is a different team. Um, totally different. Yes. I would say that um, – the state champion is going to come out of that half. Um, but we can flip over uh, and go to, I think the most competitive region is the Fairfax region, where Fairfax, Braddock, South County, and West Springfield, uh, there's some other good teams in there. That one's a good one. Uh, I'm going to stay on the Fairfax train with Tony Rojas. Uh, great team. They got a chip on their shoulder. You know, the established programs like Robinson, um, Lake Braddock. I know that the Fairfax people have a chip on their shoulder. I like Fairfax coming out of there. And they have a shot to beat Freedom, Oscar Smith, Western Branch. They have a good shot. What do you think about, uh, Jay, what do you think about that? I know you got a lot of knowledge on that. Well, I like Fairfax High School, too. Man, they're undefeated. Westfield let me down. I mean, they lost, I think, three out of the last four games. They're like, you know, six and four. Mm-hmm. Madison, you know, they're you were talking re- region C though in Fairfax. So it's oh, yeah, Fairfax, yeah, Fairfax, Robinson, yeah, Fairfax, yeah, Lake Braddock, those yeah. schools. Right. Yeah, Fairfax all the way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, what about you? I, I'm sorry, Rusty. Like I, I see Fairfax coming through, but South County much kind of like Forest Park, actually. They're they're on a roll too. What they, didn't they lose their third or fourth game, something like that? And and since then, I know Jordan Dennis was out early in the season, their quarterback. So yep. he he's been back and and uh get, getting back on track and everything. So I think it's gonna be a South County Fairfax final, but I, I think this is Fairfax year. Um I, I, I've heard a lot about Fairfax. I know they have some talent, and they they, they they're they're playing very well. But I I, I got to go with um, South County or Lake Braddock. You know, Lake Braddock has got some talent. They've and they've 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 they play a tough schedule. Um, I think we kind of overlook teams when we say, "Oh, they got two Braddock's losses." But the team's great. Lepowski. Great. Absolutely. Absolutely. And well, it, well, Lake Braddock has been spit, put, spitting out great quarterbacks the last like eight years. Um, and so yeah, I would say um, Fairfax has never done it. I mean, it's just hard. I've, I've never seen them really get it. Like back in the day when they had um, Evan Royster's brother, oh, you yeah. know, like, <laughs> you know, tw- Brandon, yeah, 20 years ago, they, they were, they were, they were good. But uh, yeah, I, Fairfax got to do it. So I, I, I like South County um, or Lake Bragg to come out of that region. And then um, uh, I go back to Centerville and um, and Centerville coming out of D. Yeah, I think Madison. I think it will be, you know what? I think I think it will be Centerville Madison. Um, absolutely. And and um, I think that Centerville out what 0 3 as well. And 0 and 3. That's awesome. right. Rusty, why don't you go ahead and throw him the curveball? He likes South County to win the whole thing. 
Yeah. You like I South Carolina and win the state championship. I like South Carolina. I, I like Freedom Bias. You're, like you're, 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 you're a Jordan fan. Yeah, I'm Jordan Dennis <laughs> fan. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't wait and to see Overton play. It's the closest Fairfax High School to where I live. There you go. <laughs> Mileage wise. Um, but no, I, I like South County. I, you know, they, they did make it to, you know, two of the last three state championships and they won one. So, um, no, I, 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 I the, like South County. Fairfax, though, they like Chase Miller had transferred from Hilton up there and, and they're yeah. using them in a lot of different ways. I mean, they're putting them in the slot. They're putting them, um, you know, in, in the gun and running the ball. He's throwing it a little bit. He's he's a difference maker combined with Tony Rojas. Rojas is going to be a great linebacker in that Penn State tradition. Look yeah. out for him. Jay, who yeah. you like in six? Oh, what? Who you like in six? You like Freedom? Yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm saying the whole ball of wax. I like yeah. That. Freedom. Freedom all the way. Yeah, they're going to, you know, I said they're going to, they'll be, it'll be a tough game. They'll be Battlefield. Then I think it'll be Western Branch coming from the, you know, region, um, region uh, D. Yeah. yeah. And then they'll play Fairfax High School um, in state championship. Okay. So hopefully they will have a rezone. Have it up here, not at not at ODU. Sometimes they have you know schools have the game, you know, a neutral site in yeah. Northern Virginia. So West that off, let's round it out, West Hoff. What do you got? So I got uh, Smith playing Freedom in the semis, and then Fairfax playing Centerville in the semis. Fairfax coming through to play Freedom, and Freedom taking it all. Wow! All right, for all the parents. Okay. Remember the song Freedom by George Michael, Freedom 90? Great video. <laughs> video. All right, let, let, let's start rolling through the classes. Okay, five is Highland Springs and everybody else. Yeah. I, like Highland Springs, I like Highland Springs and nobody can upset them. So, well, think, actually, actually. Oh, there's no actually. <laughs> green run, green run, green run can, can ball. No, um, I'm at the region. Green run quarterback's great. Oh, but, and they're region. No, oh, yeah, they're region. So, let, me, let me finish. And they're region. I like Highland Springs to win the whole thing. I like Stonebridge because of Mickey to beat Mountain View. And um, I like uh, Kempsville beating, or no, no, excuse me, Green Run beating Mari this year. And Green Run will lose in a really good game to Highland Springs. And Rusty, I know, is if there's bad weather, we like Kempsville to take Green Run because we we got friends of both places. So, you know, I just think that five is the best program in the state. You got Highland Springs and, um, Man, I'll tell you oh. what, if Mickey Thompson can win that this year, he is, uh, you know, he he's a he's a high school whisperer. But what do you think, Rusty? You think anybody got a shot at uh, Lawrence? Absolutely. Mountain View. Mountain View, before that loss, again, we get kind of lost. We get forget things, you know. Uh, Mountain View's loss to Colonial Forge doesn't look great. But before that, we were like, Mountain View, oh, they could win it all. So I, I, I like Mountain View if you consider it an a nine and one team and up to upset uh, to, to, to possibly come out of that region and then, um, you know, play Highland Springs tough, but, but I think uh, Highland Springs will end up probably playing uh green run. All right. Jay, Nova, Nova guys, what do you think about the rest of five? I think if Highland Springs plays at Stonebridge, I got Stonebridge. No, they don't go too. No, they like got the number one seed. Highland Springs is the most. They play in the semis, and it's going to be in Richmond. Okay, Highland Springs. Yeah, okay. Stonebridge would be traveling to Highland Springs. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got Highland this, Springs and Green Run. I I, re, I saw a couple games of Green Runs. Um, what's the quarterback's name? Um, Kevin. 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 Yeah, he's yeah. Hokey Nation. Really, really get to know good. Kevin White. Get to know Kevin White. You're, you're, he is awesome. Yeah. yeah. So he's he was really impressive. I, I uh, but I Highland Springs is dominant. Okay, so we got a consensus. Highland yeah. Springs. Uh, four. Let's roll through these. Um, four. I think is the Dinwiddie and Dinwiddie S. After that, I would say that. Um, the Hampton Roads region is wide open. I like Kingsport coming out of there, but there's a lot of good teams. And also, Dinwiddie does have King George. Uh, I like Tuscarora winning the region up here with a great Loudoun County team and Kettle Run. Don't sleep on Loudoun yeah. County. They don't have anybody that jumps out at you. They're not big. They're not small, but they execute. 
That's the dark horse. And then I like them playing the winner of uh, EC Glass and Salem. I like Salem beating an undefeated uh, Louisa County in the second round. That's my take. Rusty, Mr. Hudson Bird, who turned 54 on Friday. Happy birthday. What do you got in four, Rusty? Uh, again, again, that's the in-depth analysis that I gave on our previous show. Yeah, with he did seven, five, seven guys. Warwick, no doubt, all the way, because the head coach is a fraternity brother. Not just that, we actually are both spring 90 number ones. So <laughs> there we go. That's all you need to know, Warwick. <laughs> Warwick, um, no. Could I could never do it. Like, I would beat the hell out of anybody. Yeah, right, right. We could never pledge those things. Can Kings Fourth beat Warwick, though? Russell? Yes, Kings like, Fourth can. I know beat they played Warwick. Oscar Smart off earlier in the year. Kings Fourth. Yeah, yeah. Kings Fourth. No, Kings Fourth is good. But like I said in our, our other show, I still think, we're, again, we kind of overlook people. Didn't win. He's clearly very good. They beat uh, Dale, uh, Thomas Dale. But I, I think overall, uh, if I go each region, I'm going to say it'll be Warwick. Uh, I think I'll say my, let me say my other ones. I want to give some love to Kettle Run um, or Loudoun County. Uh, I don't know. We can't overlook a 10-0 team, two 10-0 teams. So they're both very good. Um, but I think we're going to have a state championship of Verina versus um, uh, EC Glass and, and Verina winning it all. Two back to back. Again, their only loss is the Highland Springs. Yeah, but I think in, in Division Four, then Witty. Yeah. Then All the way. I agree. They, they had a huge win. It wasn't like 60 something to 20. They yeah. crushed Dale. They crushed Dale. They Thomas crushed. Dale. The division, you know, Thomas Dale, who was undefeated. So four, yeah. four is a good one. Four is a good one. Uh, yeah. Four, five, and six are all together. This yeah. should be like the Indiana State basketball tournament where everybody plays everybody because four, five, and six, and kind of three good ones. Brian, what, who you like? I like Dinwiddie as well. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, that that was a statement win last week, so they're they're peaking. Who do you like uh, for our Loudon teams? We got Loudon County, Tuscarora, Kettle Run, almost Loudon. Yes, yeah, it, it's interesting because it's that, what is it two ten and O teams there and 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 Tuscarora at nine and one. I, I like Tusky as well. Yeah. Can you talk to Coach Elliott um, at, in Charlottesville about Patrick Bryan? No, they need a good quarterback. We, we, we certainly need help. Our offense is not not uh, working lately. And, and and Nolan Boozy James uh, Phoebus has not sent a kid to uh, Charlottesville in quite some time. So wow. Hey, hey, hey Kirk, I thought it was pretty telling that you and I were both watching the Oscar Phoebus uh, game and not the wow. in the Wahoos that were playing. At the same time. <laughs> Both, both I, fan bases want the coaches fired, which is ridiculous. That those guys, yeah, I mean, you got to give them time. All right. Yeah, I, I DVR both of those games, and I didn't get a chance to watch them until today. Um, but yeah, they both need help. They need help. And then both three is help. three is Phoebus. They're going to be playing Brentsville, so those are your two sides. Um, and I don't see any variation in that. I would say that. Um, no, that's on one side. The other side is Liberty Christian. Christian. And Botator. I think Botator, Botatot, it's actually Botatot. If you go to Virginia Tech, you learn that name. Botatot will play Phoebus at Liberty. I don't think Liberty Christian, they they got they lost on Friday night. They wow. Could be, I, I don't think anybody could beat Phoebus. I don't think anybody could beat Highland Springs. Six and four up for grabs. But Phoebus is going to win their ninth title. So I will, I will say this, though, Kirk. In the playoffs, there's always a close game. And I think if Phoebus and Brentsville go at it, if Brentsville slows the game down, uh, you never know. And I'm not saying, again, that in my house, I'm betting Phoebus. But, again, I've seen games over the years where, it, you know, you have teams like Brentsville coming from nowhere. Man, and they are physically unbelievable, man. Woo! I, yeah, Bristol's not small now. This is big who, boys. Who, who's covering Jordan Bass? I, hey, like I said, hey, you wish your Jordan Bass. That's my house. Hey, it. Like I, I was like jaw, you know, jaw drop watching him play. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I'll, I'll be rooting for Brentsville, but it's it's going to be a tall, tall pass. Yeah. Hey, I guess that shouldn't happen. Where you, there's always one game in the playoffs that can go years away. Right. That's not one of them. <laughs> no, no, no. That All is right. not one of them. 
So <laughs> we pretty much, I think we all have freedom coming out. Um, and then um, Woodbridge, freedom, um, South Riding is out of it. They're not in the playoffs. And I, I like um, Champ to maybe be a thorn in uh, Freedom Woodbridge side. But again, I, I think that uh, in closing, who's a sleeper player in Prince William that nobody's not getting enough fanfare? Mr. Westhoff. Uh, I'm trying to think. Let me, you know, Qu Quentin doesn't get a lot of press. Quentin Pulley doesn't get a lot of press. He's what makes Forest Park tick, uh, for sure. I, I, I think he's not getting much press. Um, pr he's the one that probably would stick out for me. Okay. Right. And I would say, and it's my, my, and my fault, and I apologize to his dad, Amari Campbell has not been given a lot of press this year. He's he's tough. Not a lot of press. Not more. Not a more. a PWC sports board though. Like he's getting tons of press. He's yeah, press about, yeah, one of the best linebackers in the state. Yeah, but he's like getting like press, you know. And that's like Nova. I mean, I'm just saying he's not getting a lot of press like he should. Well, he should. I, I I guess I I was speaking more of like like kind of. I don't know. I, he's he's by far one of the the probably top two defensive players in the in the county. Okay. Sure. Yeah, no top question. three. Okay. The, TJ Bush, Caleb Woodson, and Amari Campbell. That's my top okay. three. You have anybody, Rusty? Yeah, I, I go with uh, Eddie Henry for Patriot. He's a defensive. Oh yeah, yeah. Good one. Eddie and I coached Eddie Henry in in, in youth football. Uh, really great family. Dad played college ball. Dad's again an alpha. So, um, <laughs> um, one but, thing, but but I, I I like I like him. Yeah, he's 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 good. The the one thing back to Quentin and and I, I think I was talking to to you, Rusty, and a couple others. Um, at the Forest Park game, if you watch Quentin and, and the Champ fans will have to watch this. If you watch his hands, I mean that 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 fake that he has, um, he's probably the best running quarterback right now in Prince William County, and you will get tripped up and you will not be able to see that ball if he has it or not. So, yeah, that's something. What I like about they they figured out the best way to use their strengths as a team um, when when they go heavy and and some in the ways when they do. You spray it out. They they they've kind of figured out what's going to work with Pulley and that line and their running game. They have a thousand yard back, um, <clears throat> or just the cook get a thousand. Or he's maybe just a few yards short. There we go. Um, yeah, I think he yeah. was right at a thousand. Yeah, yeah, but um, no, I I I I I would not be surprised if Forest Park beat beat Champ. Uh, that'll that'll probably the be the game. Player that comes to mind, Kirk, is the the receiver. I know um, Patrick Bryant has two good receivers. Oh actually. yeah. But the the peach Spiller. kid, the Spiller. junior. Um, Spiller's a young kid. I believe he's a freshman, actually. And wow. Peach is a junior, I think. He's on the back um, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, he, he was pretty impressive, no, number 17. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a big wide out. What was that? Cam Pe Petrie. Cam. Yeah. yeah. I will say this, and let's get ready to close out. Um, I think Cole Serber in Charlottesville is a brawler. But in high school, he plays tackle. He's going to move the interior line. And with 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 a tackle's technique and some luck with injuries, not having injuries, he could be a surprise. He can play – he can maybe play on Sundays. Uh, you know, you got to be a brawler with technique in college to go far. But I love the way he plays, and he's, he's a brawler. Uh, but he's got pretty good athletic uh, ability. When I say pretty good, that's not a put down. I'm just saying that, you know, the elite tackles, offensive linemen, just their feet are unbelievable. You know, they move – Tony Baselli and those guys move like almost like tailbacks. But He's got a chance to play pretty early at UVA because UVA is struggling on the line. Everybody, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you see Rusty and I, come up and say hi, Kirk and Bird Show. Please subscribe. And – I think we're going to be at a Prince William game, Rusty. I'm going to be a champ. So. I'll be at Freedom. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be at Freedom for three weeks. <laughs> Maybe four, four, weeks in, four, weeks, four, week, four weeks in a row. That's right. All right. Well, look, thanks again, guys, for joining us. <clears throat> Any final thoughts, uh, Professor? No, nah, look, looking forward to the, uh, the the playoffs. At least I don't have to <clears throat> numbers anymore. I, I told you I was getting texts. <laughs> 
<laughs> late on Friday night. So I'll put that spreadsheet away for next year. But yeah, okay. play, playoffs should be fun. Yeah. Okay. Do and at some time. point, we won't do it. It's, this is five rounds to go. At some point, we need to start keeping our records uh, on how our predictions go. So right now, it's kind of loosey goosey. Plus, it's not, a lot of the top seeds will hold out. But start next week. Let's see how much Jay really knows, all right? And how much Kirk does it now, all right? <laughs> hey, don't rule, hey, don't rule out Colonial Forge. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it won't surprise me. And don't rule out Unity Reed versus um, Patriot. I mean, it happened last year. We'll see. Forest Park. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Upset of the year. Garfield, Garfield in, the, in the first round. <laughs> Put all your they money beat them two, two of the last three times they played. That's all I'm the saying. The odds on that game would make you more money than the super lottery that's coming out, by the way. <laughs> they, I, and I'm going to buy a ticket. You know it's high when I'm going to buy a ticket. <laughs> Rusty, hey, take if, us if out. that happens, get ready for Jay to uh, get off the Hampton Roads football. Oh, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> he will not show his face on that. Oh, game. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm out. out of here. All right. I am out. <laughs> Don't let me down. Don't let me down. I called it, folks. Remember that. Uh, uh, I hope I'm not causing you any pain. Coach Overton, do not put up 100 on them just because I said something. All right. Hey, look, this has been great. Brian Westoff, Jay Golson, and my co-host, Kirk Hilliard. This has been your Prince William County VHSL Divisions Review and preview. So we're t- we're gonna uh, we're looking forward to seeing all this stuff. But we want to thank you guys for joining us. This is Kirk and Bert, and we are out.